put something in a brand new drop. Trick one now. Just got paid, but I'm blow a couple racks off top. Trick one now. Walked in with the juice. Went. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Brother's Perspective. I'm your host, Kenny Steele, and today we are doing another episode of Wrestler's Perspective. Ooh, excuse me. And of course, it is featuring my friend, the great Jerome Daniels. How you doing, bro? I'm doing very well. Thank you for introducing me. It's great. It's it, exciting, man. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, man. It's I, fantastic. I have a, a video game control for now. That's actually normal, so it's, oh, it's completely, oh, it's completely sweet. normal. So I'm just leave it right here because you never know what game might be. Never know. Never, never know. Never know. You know what I'm saying? We got 2K in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In, in justice, we never know. Never so just got to be ready at all. But no, time. man, for real, thank you for having me on, man. That's a blend. Love the show. Love what you're doing. So when you asked me to be on, I was like, hey, can I yeah, yeah, because you're you're very. <laughs> Here you go. You already started. Here you go. <laughs> I know. I know. We, we talk a lot, and most people really do know you're very introverted. But you know, I'm glad you, you know decided to come yeah. in and do this interview. Yeah, we appreciate right. it. Yeah. So I just just wanted to know, you know, what's you know, where you been, man? You've been all over, bro. We yeah. need a recap. Of, you know, what I'm saying the life of Jerome Daniels. What's, what's going on? Getting more national bookings. You know, that's what we set out to do uh, when we started our team and stuff. Just take things to the national level and. You know, we've all been doing that, and so I've just been able to do more of that lately. Been able to train with more, you know, prestigious schools, and just kind of sharpen the tools everywhere I go. So that's what I'm all about right now. That's what I've been able to do, and hopefully, it's shown in my recent performances. Yeah, because I, I saw, uh, you know, we talked, and you were at the Good Brothers Dojo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I was saying, you know, with, with the Good Brothers. Shout out to the Good Brothers. Oh, how did actually, how did that actually go for you? Oh man, it was it was dope. Um, Anderson, Gallows, they, uh, they seem like very funny guys. Oh, they're, 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 it's it's funny because like they're so they're they're so laid back and it's it's a very relaxed environment. And they're cracking jokes and pranking each other, and then like when a drill starts, it's like all business. And then, and I think because they're so laid back and, and fun loving and easygoing, uh, we don't really understand how smart they are mm -hmm. to wrestling uh the, the wealth of knowledge in that school is like it's insane it's really mm -hmm. insane the knowledge that i was able to get and just you know my first stint down there I was there for uh, five days and we we had we were doing two a days you know nice. uh film sessions at night nice. you know it felt like football practice you know <laughs> <laughs> it felt like football practice but um, everybody showed up ready to learn. There's people that's been wrestling, you know, like me, 10 years. People been wrestling 10 months. And wow. everybody showed up with a notebook uh, ready to learn. Uh, nice, nice. That, that was fun. Um, got to do some shows uh, in North Carolina and, and in the Georgia area. So that was that was a good weekend of wrestling. I was really sore, but I felt, yeah, I felt, yeah, all, yeah. I felt all the better for it. Um, that's what's up. So, yeah, I've just been trying to get around to different schools and stuff, you know. Shout out to Harvard School of Wrestling down in Good school. Yeah, Good Chris school. Marvel. Good school. Chris Marvel's uh, fantastic. Does amazing things out there. Um, there's a lot of places in America that's it's just, the the culture of wrestling right now is so good. I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, you know, this year moving forward, and I I feel like even our team is going to do like big things this year. Absolutely. Well, you know, we're just getting started. You know, so, right, we already know it. We always got a couple you, things to do. Honestly. <laughs> So, so for those who who don't know and who are actually being introduced yeah. to you, uh, go ahead and actually, you know, how'd you get started? You know, I know it's been a long journey. This isn't an overnight success. Oh, yeah. I know it's some things you had to kind of come out of your shell and kind of, you know, said adapt to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. How'd you, you know, what are some highlights you did to get to this point right here? Um, for me, I mean, it's always the the I, I'm I don't have like the cliche like, well, I knew I wanted to be a wrestler. You know, when I was right, a little right. kid, I was always because because you came from a, a mixed martial arts. Yeah, I've, I've my father had my siblings and my siblings and I in martial arts. Uh, you know, growing up, so um, you know, I wasn't introduced to professional wrestling until I was like maybe sixth grade, mm. and I was just like, like this is like crazy. You know, like what, like this. And I just fell in love with all of like just the pageantry of it, and, right. and, and you know the whole thing. It's, it's fake, and, it's, and I was just like, no, it's not. Like this is like the greatest thing. <laughs> the ever, world. Like, the yeah. Like, and so you know, as boys, we go through our phases where, I mean, I'm sure you went through it. It's like, well, this day I want to be a football player. This day I want to be a basketball player. I want to play baseball. So we go through those phases. 
I didn't go through I Want to Be a Wrestler at all. It's cool. I like watching it. I'm going through the hall and I see my buddy Chad, mm-hmm. stunner, you know, right. <laughs> uh, get in trouble, you know, detention or whatever. But past that, I was kind of done with it. Um, got into high school, you know, played all the sports and all of that stuff. And it was just kind of random, you know, um, getting ready for college. And, you know, I was like, hey, dad, I want to wrestle. He's like, well, you go to school and you do the school stuff. And you still wanted to, because he thought it was a phase, because you know boys. Yeah, yeah, the phases, phases yeah. I said, like, you still want to do it. I'll pay for school, I'll pay right. for your housing, and then you can go chase that dream and, you know, do whatever you want to do. That's, that's dope. That's dope. But, you know, and it, I'm glad he did that, because, you know, something happened, and I couldn't wrestle tomorrow. I'll be fine, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so, um, that's kind of how it happened. Uh, I just kind of did that, and was just focused on, like, when I'm done here. Right. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> So when I got done with school and it was like, all right, so what's next? I was like, oh no, we had an agreement, Dad, you know. And it's funny, I said, oh crap, I thought it was a phase, you know. Right. Like, oh, are you, you know, are you a man of your word, Dad? So I, uh, I researched schools. Um, I ended up starting with Killer Tim Brooks, uh, nice. who we just did a show for yesterday. Nice. Shout out to Tim Brooks. Uh, shout out to Killer. He's battling cancer. He's Cancer picked the wrong dude to pick a mess yeah, with, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's a tough uh, and uh, I went there um, for about three, four months, and um, I was progressing kind of quickly. Uh, and Killer was, was such a, a brilliant mind. He goes, I think you, I'm going to send you down to Garland to, uh, to Skandar Akbar's. And so he sent me to Skandar Akbar's and I went to Akbar's for another three or four months and uh, uh, trained there, then got started on PCW. And so I started PCW, XCW, that's back in Dallas Fort Worth, there was weekly shows, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I really cut my teeth with a really, really good class, like, yeah. you know, the Tim Storms and Robert Evans and Action Jackson, and Mike Fox, uh, APOC, Mace Malone, Noby Bryant, um, like every the whole car, Jigolo James Johnson, JT yeah, Lamada, yeah, yeah. Andy Dalton, these guys were already like established wrestlers, you know what I mean? Uh, Keith Lee, uh, Palmer, Adrian. Matt Palmer, yeah, Adrian and I, we trained together, uh, we've known each other forever, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. um, Ember Moon, for those of you, yeah, um, so like honestly, it was just if it. it, it it, feel, it, it has been a long road, but it kind of feels like it went by so quickly. So quickly, yeah. It kind of went by so quickly. So, I mean, if you go, like, what started the journey, I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of started. <laughs> it's kind of, it's just kind I of don't have like, I don't have, like, I don't have, like, I don't have the Andy Dalton story where, you know, my dad was a wrestler and, you know, right, 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 I just kind of right. always knew it was going to be, you know, I, knew, I did it. I was kind of like, right. we'll see what happens. And then, like, That's awesome. I was kind of really good at it and... Uh, well, people said I was good at it. I mean, I thought I, when I thought I was good at it, I was horrible. And then, like when I was humbled and started to get better, I, this whole time after that, I thought I was trash. It's funny when people are like, man, Trump's like one of the best, and you're doing so well. You doing? I'm just like, I don't know. I saw some of my mentors, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, and like, that was trash. You know, so, uh, yeah, I I went into the Good Brother School like uh, for the week and. They were like, they told Langdon, you know, shout out to Robert Langdon. He sent me up there. He's like, you know, help him, you know, uh, with this, this and that and sharpen the tools, trying to get him ready for, you know, the stuff coming up in 2019. And I'm going in, I'm like, we're just going to fix small things. You know, I got this. And as soon as I start, Gal was like, Daniels, what the heck are you doing? And I'm just like, oh, okay. But the knowledge that I was able to get there yeah. from day one to day five, my wrestling had changed. The fundamentals of my wrestling were shifted and it made me exponentially a better wrestler. Yeah. Like in, in a week, you know, so that just goes to show what kind of school they have, wow. you know, at the Good Brothers Dojo and just the wealth of knowledge there. And so I'm just looking forward to getting better every day, you know, and like I said, the class I came up with, like you see what everybody's doing, like I'm kind of, just trying to, right, right, right. you know what I mean? Like everybody from my class is swimming, you know. Right, and so right, you right. can't be the guy that drowns, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, true. I'm just, I'm just 
excited person. So, so going back to it, because we all we all have a guy, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the moment you saw him and it was like that decision, they okay. did something. Okay. What was the moment that you actually saw you? Because like, oh no, dude, tomorrow I gotta get to do this. I gotta do this tomorrow. Um, uh, see, mine's like weird though because he wasn't like even relevant at the time. But I was like watching wrestling. I was watching wrestling. And I was like, oh, I like The Rock. I like Stone Cold. But they didn't yeah. make me want to be a wrestler, like, right. because I didn't look at Stone Cold and be like, I can be that guy, like, right, right, like Stone Cold just come in, you know, right, crack some beers, stun the guy, right. yell at his boss, like, ah, that's not me. <laughs> uh, there's this wrestler, uh, Rick Martel. He was, it was like in the WWF days. And it was like, again, he wasn't even. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I remember Rick anymore. Martel. I think he's actually the 2K yeah, name, Rick yeah, Martel. It was like Rick the Model Martel, and he came yeah. out. And he's like, he's got these women with him, and he's like, I'm Rick the Model Martel. And he's like, he's like flipping his hair, and he's got like this pesticide thing, but he's calling it cologne. And he's called <laughs> arrogance. And he's like, Shh. Arrogance, and I'm like, he tight. <laughs> he never, dude, he never won matches. I was like, he tight, bro. He's, he's, he's tight, bro. Like, so yeah, Rick the Model Martel was good. I was just like, can you just so conceited? And like, everybody hated him. And he didn't see anything wrong with it. He's <laughs> just like, this dude's a douche. And he's like, what? This arrogance oh, smells know, good, bro. Oh, you know? man. That's so funny. And so I was like, I think because it's one of those things, especially as like teen boys, like we're totally all delusional. Like right, we, right, we right, all right. think that we're like, oh yeah, yeah we right. all think we're awesome. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, we all think. Yeah. And now so like, this on this. so that was us, right? Right. Like what teen boy was Rick Martel? You know? <laughs> so uh, yeah, dude, that was my thing. I was like, this dude's totally delusional, That's and right. he's getting paid for it. You know, I wasn't you know privy to gimmicks and stuff yet. You know, right. I was like this dude's delusional, getting paid for it. Sign me up. <laughs> Which even that even that mindset was delusional right. at the time, you know. So here we are, you know. That's awesome, man. Yeah, so you do you it. do I know uh you know you you've been doing martial arts for yeah, yeah. years. Yeah. And that was and, and we can kind of see that in your wrestling style too. You know, I have worked you, you know, yeah. I've seen you know your work for, you know, years, but we know yeah. each other forever. Uh but I, I do see that in your work a lot. How do you transition uh, your uh, your MMA background into uh, into your wrestling and how you know how you perform. Uh, I, I don't even think of it as tr I guess I've been able to do it by not seeing it as that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I just see it as I just use what's available to me. Like the tool on the tool. Yeah, like Mark Henry doesn't try to transition powerlifting to wrestling. He's right. a powerlifter, so he's strong. So use your strength in wrestling, you know. So, you know, I, I was a grappler, you know, jujitsu, um, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, uh, and for striking and stuff. So I had a weapon readily available to add to the basics of just mat wrestling and right. chain wrestling. I could add these things to it, and it kind of set me apart, you know, at the time. You know, now... Everybody's like a crossover, oh. you know, martial artist now. What? But, I don't even see. I don't even but, see. But yeah, time. but so yeah, so <laughs> at the time it was, it kind of made you. It was just an extra tool you can use, you know. So. Right, right, right. But yeah, man, that's that was. So, I didn't think of it as. So what are what are, what are the apples and oranges that you see with men's martial arts and like wrestling <clears throat> that you know so that that you can kind that you view are kind of similar. Because there is that well, kind the, of the link. longer it goes on, it starts to look the same. Like yeah. these UFC press conferences, they kind of look like WrestleMania. Yeah, promos. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's insane. Uh, like especially like with the, the tables and the side by side, yeah. always remind me of the old WrestleMania press conferences yeah. where they be sitting at the table. Big three. fight feel to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love, I love both. For me personally, I love both. I love the pageantry of both. Uh, there's. They're both competition uh, in different ways, you know, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the 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 execution of it, the work that puts that you put into it, you know. Mm -hmm. When I'm getting ready for big wrestling matches, I am at the Gracie Jiu Jitsu. I'm at the Gracie Gym, mm -hmm. you know, or Simon Star, you know, uh, MMA, putting in work, you know, 
for a wrestling match. <laughs> I'm in a shark tank with Justin Patterson, uh, Stephen Peterson, you know what I mean? Like, right. UFC, Bellator fighters, you know, Will Florentino, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Shout out to Justin Patterson. You know, shout out to the homie Justin. Um, mixed martial artists, professional fighters, getting ready for a wrestling match. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's insane. So, uh, to me, for me, I kind of see it as hand in hand. Are there differences? Absolutely. But right, right, right. I feel like the longer it goes on, they're they're more similar than we want to give credit. Right. I, I, we were talking off camera. Uh, we were saying like, kind of, we want to be them and they want to be us. You know? Yeah. You know. So it's really weird how this, yeah. this kind of got you know flipped. Ronda Jessamine. Shayna Baszler, you yeah, know, yeah. they're coming over to pro wrestling and yeah, punk and like swagger, swagger and Lashley and and, 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 Brock. and Brock going, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's, I, I think that's kind of what I take from that personally. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird apples and oranges deal, but Absolutely. it's almost kind of like it's but just it's in like, the same basket. They're both fruit, though. Yeah, they're, yeah, both, they're, both, fruit, the fruit yeah, they're both in the yeah. same basket. They're both in the fruit it's, basket. It's, it's really crazy. I agree so, with that. so who are you a fan of uh, that does Miss Martial Arts right now? Like who are some guys? Because uh, I mean, I'm I'm watching more UFC. I'm starting to try to get into more Bellator. Yeah. But uh, who are some guys that you look at and you go, I was like, man, they got some good stuff. Um, the, here's the thing about mixed martial arts for me. Growing up in martial arts, anybody that has achieved the rank of a professional fighter, I know what goes into it. I don't care if your record is 0 and 11 or 11 and 0 to achieve the the honor of being called a professional mixed martial artist, you've earned my respect. Um, there's a lot of work in those camps. Yeah, there's, you've earned my respect. Um, I think everybody has something to offer. I would say that in wrestling as well. You know, uh, Everybody has something to offer. Um, if we talk in strikers, you know, I've got a list of guys that we're talking – Grapplers, I got a list of guys, uh, a list of, I'm, honestly, right now, I've been more into the women's mixed martial arts right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Amanda Nunes. Brutal. Is, yeah, brutal. Oh, God. Jesus. Like, brutal. Like, brutal. Is, I love when it, people man. ask me my favorite, I'm like, Amanda Nunes. Like, who? <laughs> no, 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 no. For real, no. Whatever, like, she's, bro. dude, I've you know, seen, when I see her yeah. punch somebody, and they almost, like, it's just, they couldn't react to yeah. just like this for a second yeah. before they get back in the, you know, defenses. I'm just like, God, how hard she hit. Uh, Kyle, you know, my buddy Kyle is yeah. also on this channel. You know, the runs with me. He, he just says, like, he's never seen any woman hit as hard. Yeah. As well, even, even Misha Tate, when they asked her why she retired, um, she said that she got hit in, like, the second round, I believe. And, like, she wasn't knocked out. She wasn't unconscious. She had just made that decision, like in between the rounds, this is her last fight. She said, I've fought world champions, beat world champions. I've never, I've fought guys. I've trained with guys. I've never in my life been hit like that before. And if that says something about you, if you can punch somebody <laughs> right. and they go, this is I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Not for real, like yeah, that's a dangerous person. Like, think about that's that. That's a dangerous bro. person. Like think about that. Like imagine you know getting the opportunity to work with somebody like Brock Lesnar at yeah, WrestleMania yeah, yeah. and going in there, you know, like kudos to like guys like Roman Reigns and, and Dean Ambrose who get it going there and get ragdolled yeah, yeah, yeah. for twenty minutes and like I'll see you guys at work tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'll see y'all tomorrow. Dude, like like yeah. when I first when I first started seeing Brock like doing uh, uh, UFC. Just that hammer fist alone. I was like, how is he not killing people? It's he used to just be on people just like this. Oh it's 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 a, it's a different ball game. Like I love the fight game. I love wrestling. I love it. I love it all. Any anywhere where you can see someone put themselves into their work, and because you look at the life of a a mixed martial artist and you go, they're doing these weight cuts. They're on these just rigorous diets mm -hmm. and like a weight cut I'm done yeah. with like weight like, like even like I think Daniel Cormier if I'm not mistaken he's, the, at, at, at this one the, time the, he has like two belts yeah and it's just like you think about the things that go into it yeah and you insane. might have you might have like a 16 
week camp where you've done all these things and your fight lasts 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. You know, and you, you think about what you put your body through to do that. When these guys win and they have that excitement and they jump on the fence and they lose their effing mind, that's why. Because what yeah. they put into it. When you see these wrestlers, you think about the stuff that we've done on the road. The yeah. the, the no sleep, the hotels, the flights. The You go yeah. and then you see two wrestlers who cut their teeth at the, the lowest level and then get their WrestleMania moment or in Ring of Honor, wherever they are, that they have that big moment where they have that match. And it's just a standing ovation. They get that appreciation and they're just overwhelmed with emotion. You understand it because mm -hmm. they've, when, I'm sure when you told your family you want to wrestle or you tell anybody that you're a professional wrestler and they know what goes into it, you sound like a crazy person. Yeah. And a lot of my 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 fighter friends, like Justin, uh, he and I talk and we laugh and there's such disrespect for one another because for Justin, I'm like, bro, you're crazy. You lock yourself in a cage with a dude that wants to bounce your head off the canvas. Yeah. Like, has every intention to bounce your head off the canvas. And he's like, it is what it is. <laughs> and then Justin will tell me, like, wait, you're telling me that you fell 15 feet from a ladder through a table and you knew it was going to happen? You agreed to it and you did it? And, yeah, yeah. you're crazy. <laughs> you know? uh, so it's one of those things. But we, we think about how crazy it is. Yeah, it's like any artist, like a, a musician or an actor or anything like that. Just Anybody that there. puts that kind of work into it and they can get like a fraction of that back appreciation by the people that they do their craft for. Right. And you gotta respect that. No, no, absolutely. I agree that. with that. You know, it's, it's seeing it that way is just so much tougher because it's just like, in theory, you know, in yeah. most things that people do will sound insane, yeah. especially in, you know, any, you know, yeah. very physical, physical yeah. sport like ours and yeah. MMA. And just, just seeing it just on that best level sounds crazy, but just the hours yeah. into it is yes. just, yeah, it's just so much work. So, you know, seeing... I, I look so... I, 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 I look like a middle school principal. Oh, it's like... A, I'm telling you, so, yeah. and this 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 Instagram profile is hilarious. It's like this, McNally, this, this, I see you out there right now. You better this, knock it off. It's nothing but memes, man, and, and yeah. just like a thousand hashtags. Yeah, just a thousand hashtags. It's hilarious. Yeah. Man. Well, this is the thing, like y'all, you uh, like some of you guys came up, like you and Ty and Dante came up with some of them. Half of these, but yeah. I like how y'all make it sound like I'm just like this pretentious guy. <laughs> Cool. No, no, half of just cool. jokes in the car. Yeah. Right? <laughs> They're inside jokes. Yeah. A lot of them are like, y'all making up a nickname, and I'm like, put it in my nickname. <laughs> put it up there. That's that funny as hell. Because now, um, because like, it's. Ty Wilson's making fun of me. So, anyway. It's, it's, it's funny, man, because. It's like Kenny like... in the ring. <laughs> Kenny in the, in the restaurant. Kenny at the hotel. Kenny in the car. I can't do it. <laughs> it's just, I, I, I'm not about that life. I'm, I'm very. I, I can be the kettle. You do a whole lot, like you do. But now it's 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 funny. What's funny to me is that um, not only that you you know you do it you do it so well, but you're so charismatic, and then it's a it's a switch exactly. that's just like no, I'm just kind of you know, like the people are very engaging, yeah. and they're very like <laughs> yeah. it's it's really yeah. weird how yeah. people are just drawn to you like magnetically, yeah. and it, it is funny because it's like I will look at you and it's like no, it's just that's this is Prince, that's yeah, this, this is Jerome. Yeah. So where is that? He's over there in the corner. He's just just chilling. And I've literally seen people just come up to you and just, just look at you for like 10, 15 minutes just explain a whole like a whole life story. And you crack up. It's, it's and hilarious. And you're laughing and I'm just like, Kenny, get me out of here. <laughs> you know I'm about to like, it's so I'm funny. about to cry in a second and you're just going to just sit here and just let me. So so to elaborate on that, and uh, the, the question is, is like, who, I'm pretty sure like we all have that, you know, yeah. somewhere inside us, but like, where does that come from? Where Where, where does, you know, the character and the charisma and you know what I'm saying a lot of the uh, a lot of stuff in the promos where does all that come from because it's got to be deep down somewhere uh, where do you really draw that from or is that an inspiration from somebody that you know well it's kind of a it's kind of a thing where my both of my parents my mom and dad like it was weird to have two parents grow up with two parents and mom and dad are just on one accord 
but they're like polar opposites. opposites. Like my wow. mom is very serious. Like are you you've been around my yeah, mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom is very like sure of herself. She's very confident. Almost almost snobby. <laughs> Love you, mom. She's almost she's just almost like we're you know, she's very Game of Thrones. Uh, you know, very Cersei Lannister almost. Like you know what I mean? Like we're I better than you, and if you don't like it, we'll show you. <laughs> um, and dad's very it's okay to be confident in yourself, but you let them you you let other people call you great. Yeah. If you have to call yourself great, you're yeah. trying to you're trying to prove to yourself that you're great. And my mother would be like, "That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life." <laughs> you know? So, so where that comes from, where that comes from is for me. I always say like the Jerome Daniels character that they see the the entitled, mm -hmm. uh, uh, spoiled brat thing is kind of like who I would have been if. My mother raised me <laughs> so. by herself, like my parents. <laughs> if I came in like a single parent home, if I grew up in like a single parent home with her, I would have really become that guy. Um, and then like in, in the ring, like what I do in the ring or what I say in these promos, I go to a place to where this is who I would be if there were no consequences for my actions. Right. Like if I could look you in your face and say, Kenny... I'm going to stomp your head into this canvas. And if you kick out it too, I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to cover you. If you kick out it too, I'm going to do it again. And because we're wrestlers and I won't go to jail, I'm going to do that. I couldn't go. We couldn't do that at Applebee's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, hey, stop stomping this guy's yeah. head. So I, I just one of those things like wrestling is the one place where you can go. Like uh, I'm gonna be running a, over uh, yeah, awesome with the yeah, car. I'm gonna then be, go to jail. <laughs> we, we never questioned it as kids. We never questioned it. We never questioned it as <laughs> Like Austin walks into the arena and he's not supposed to be there. He gets arrested. Rikishi hits him with a car and it's like, like did it for the rock. It's like, well, all right. Then. And that, that explains it. I completely, right, completely, completely. But explain. yeah, dude, like we we totally just have a platform where guys like Keith Lee can be a a, a phenomenal athlete mm -hmm. and be a comic nerd. He oh, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super. He nerd. can show up. We had a show where somebody literally threw a Pokeball like backstage. That was me. And then we he just, yeah, 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 that was you, that was you. And then next and you nobody, know, nobody, nobody said anything. Nobody, nobody said questioned anything. it. Because nobody questioned it. He's like, because of Pokemon. Yeah, I got I throw a Pokemon, Pokeball to the back. Keith Lee comes out with Mewtwo trunks. It's does, crazy. Does, a, does a freaking swanton over the ropes on the people. And it's like, this is... This is nobody, nobody throws the BS flag. <laughs> yeah, dude. No. Why not? You know, no consequences. Why not? It's um, competitive, man. It's competitive. Even our teammate Dante. You know, uh, he and I are not on the same page right now. Mm. But Dante, dude is in the freaking radio interview. We And he's got no shirt on. He abs out. And he's got on this fur coat. And it's like, dude, it's 100 degrees in here. He's sweating. You can take the coat. I can't take the coat off. I'm proud. Like, no, you're about to have a heat stroke. That's what you're about to do. Uh, but yeah, dude, like, that's what I would say for me is wrestling is a place where we can just do and say what we want yeah. without consequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're going to pay us. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm going to be a douchebag. It's like Rick Martin says, it's coming up with that arrogance. No. And I was like, look, be yeah. pay me, pay me, be arrogant. That's awesome, man. No questions asked, bro. Yeah. So, so who are who are some of the guys that you? Because wrestling is such a hotbed right now, oh, such a dude. wide variety. It is insane, and the I'm wrestling culture love it. is booming. It's right booming now. right now. It's so the so. Boys good. are getting over. The girls are out there. Man, the women's wrestling right now is just yeah, yeah, work. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Work. Well, work. Women's work. MMA and women's wrestling. Yeah, it's man. Just, it is no. at an all time high. Props yeah. to them. Props to them. Um, who would you say are some of the guys that you're a fan of just watching? Guys, you kind of you're a fan of watching. You kind of you know, or even that you kind of emulate your style from. Because be, like you said, you have another tool in the toolbox. Yeah. And now because wrestling is like you said, it's starting to kind of be that weird flip mm -hmm. where they want to be us and we want to be them. Yeah. Where are some some things that you're watching and like guys that you're watching? Like okay, cool, I can kind of see some of that, kind of work some of that, and that's mm -hmm. being able to use that. I mean, I don't know. I, I try not to watch other wrestlers too much and kind of like cherry pick too often because mm -hmm. then I find myself getting away from who I am. Okay. Uh, but for me, there's some people that I love watching like 
Albert, uh, ACH. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, it's, Albert, like, like Albert. Gravity like, doesn't exist, Albert. I want to go out there and do something. I love to watch it. I would never try it. No. Uh, I'd never try it. But Albert can go out there and do stuff. And I've seen Albert go out there and do a 450. I've seen him go out there and step off a rope this way, land on a rope this way, flip and twist. And then I've seen him have a, a brawl with it. Albert is somebody who is able to thrive. And it's nice adaptable. He can adapt to anything. So I'm a fan of watching Albert. Uh, Shane Taylor. Uh, another friend. Shane, can, sure. Shane. Again, we are not on the best of terms right now. <laughs> uh, but Shane is another guy who can just go out there, tape his fist, and like slug it out with you. There's, there's a certain beauty to that as somebody who's a fighter. Like, yeah, I appreciate that. You know, I love Ricochet. He can do all... You gotta appreciate a guy who's just like, I don't have any of that. I just gonna punch you in the face, bro. Uh, Matt Palmer is an entertainer. Uh, Matt Palmer is an entertainer. So this, I, I, this, this is a weird thing. Like you were saying, wrestling is so like it's good. Wrestlers are just so prominent right now. There was, there was a time wrestling like there were way more bad wrestlers than good wrestlers. Mm-hmm. I think we're at a point now that we have more good wrestlers and bad wrestlers. So you can kind of watch a show and be like, I can watch a show with Shane Strickland and and A.R. Fox and Austin Theory, Barrett Brown, you know, and and be like, or, or Gregory James and be like, yeah, that dude tight. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. And, and it's just I, the card from top to bottom is just and phenomenal. Then, it's just, and, then, and then in the same breath, go in there and a, a completely contrasting style like a guy like Andy Dalton, who, again, not a, fan of, not a fan of him personally, but you show me a bad Andy Dalton match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to put some work. You can't, you, I can't find yeah, one. I tried to find one. I yeah, can't yeah. find one. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of Andy Dalton's work. I'm a fan of uh, like a guy like Tim Storm, who I've seen get better with time. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That question is such an unfair question to even try to answer because yeah, there's yeah, yeah. so so many many so good many, yeah, even yeah. our teammates like Dante who could oh I I it's not even hyperbole to be like he could literally jump out the gym because I part of me feels like he might be able to literally jump out the gym or 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 Ty who just. He's a mad scientist when it comes to like yeah, putting stuff I, I, together. I love Thai style. It's you know? so it's 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 like unorthodox poetry. Yeah. And it's you, so unorthodox. Even, even, you're you're so, smooth. even you, you go in there and we're just kind of like, what's Ken, man, what's Kenny gonna do out there? And like, we don't know what Kenny's gonna do because I don't think Kenny knows what he's about to do when he goes out there. You know, Kenny's gonna go out there and be Kenny. You know, how many times have we said Kenny being Kenny? You know? Pretty much. Um, I'm just a fan of so many of our peers right now. And yeah. colleagues, yeah, uh, the girls right now, and uh, you know, Adrian yeah. killing it, um, Amber Moon killing it, uh, Jordan Grace killing it, you know, yeah. Jonathan Gresham is another guy, a grappler who I didn't mention, Jonathan Gresham, yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. insane, I'm crazy, that as well. yeah, uh, right. but like, great, um, yeah, uh, Thunder Rosa, yeah, insane, you know. The new class of girls coming up in DFW all, all pro. Oh, so good. Killing it. So, so good. Um, Taking the world by storm. Too. Yeah, that's um, that's always good too. Just like cause, like you yeah. said, the struggle. Yeah. You always see the struggle on the work, man. Just, then there's some girls too. further uh, up in the Midwest, um, like like Delilah Doom, uh, Kylie Ray. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oklahoma's got a few. Um, this girl Erica Torres, she's really good. My buddy Nikki Knight, she's really good. It's a lot of good wrestlers who yeah, just. Yeah. We just gotta wait on them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta wait yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's kind of just like, you know, it's just kind of like you don't know when that moment yeah. comes, but like when, you know what I'm saying, when the world yeah. actually does get to see them, it's like they're not ready. You know who's becoming like, who's going into my top five right now? And I'm kind of salty saying it because I see him all the time and he's like, I feel like he's just so good at wrestling, like he's just not even like worried about how good he is. Like Gino. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. From, from uh, Reality Wrestling Booker's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Gino. So good, bro. Like everybody's good at wrestling yeah, right now. I'm just yeah, excited. Yeah, everybody's good, good bro. That's what's so up. yeah. I don't have one that I just like wrestling. Like I, I it's, 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 yeah. where I'm almost like how we're talking about Kevin Owens, uh, Kevin Steen. Like I just can just watch wrestling right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Like just watch, just yeah, just, I just watch it. wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's a lot of guys who are yeah. extremely talented, yeah. extremely talented. 
But no, no, that's 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 cool, man. I mean, it's and it's nice to see. It's always nice to see you on the road, man. Nice to see you on the road. Nice to see you traveling. Nice to see yeah. the growth. You know what I'm saying? Because again, you know, enjoying. teammates. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're you know, doing you know how we do. You yeah. know how we do. You know what I'm saying? Getting out there. You know, doing the brand, working the brand. Appreciate just, you. know, and just to see from how we were when I first met you, just yeah. back in the old gym. Yeah. In Bedford and everything. You know, we the met hot box, the, the hot dungeon, gym, boy. To go from the good, to go to that gym to see the progress, to see the growth, you know what I'm saying? To see the appreciation, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I went from and, wrestling BC to Keith Lee. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> BC's off camera. I'm I've, never, I've never met that man in my life. Shouts out to BC. I've never Keith met Lee. that man in my life. But, 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 but no, but just to see this, you know, and even you know, the stuff with you in Florida and stuff, yeah. and it's, it's just great to see because, like you said, I've seen the growth, I've seen the work, I've seen the hours, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything we have to do, and it's, you know, it's great to watch that and see that. Like that's my guy. It's, it's like, sure. like I said before, it's almost kind of like um, discovering you know, like great punk band before they yeah. get hit the big label yeah, and they take the war by storm, man. man. So it's man, it just comes from having people around me that keep me like hungry. Yeah. You know, for every fan that's like, "Oh, you're good," you know, uh, Keith, you know, be like, uh, "You're trash, bro," or like me, you know, Stephanie, Stephanie, me, you know, like she just like. You suck at every aspect of wrestling. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, bro. <laughs> like, I almost, like, you see when I said the girl, like, I don't want to give her any <laughs> of how good she is because she's so mean. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the homie, but she's mean as shit. No, oh, uh, yeah, man, like, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate the kind words. And it's just having a bunch of people, a bunch of teammates like you and, and Dante and, and Ty who, you guys are getting better every day. I have no choice if I'm going to wear the C on my trunks, you know, right, but to absolutely. stay, you know, but to keep moving, you know. Absolutely. So surround yourself with people who, who are doing well. Keith's doing well. Shane's doing well. Adrian's doing well. Um, it's kind of one of those things where the sense. rising tide raises all ships. The mm -hmm. levels of all ships. So it's like it's, you said, you know, it's like everybody else swimming, you know what I'm saying? It's like and you, you got to kind of, yeah, don't try. Absolutely. You got to keep swimming. It's kind of your only choice. <laughs> no choice. No choice at all. Uh, but yeah, let them know what, uh, you know, fans where they can find you on social oh, media. Man. We, we uh, do have this, uh, uh, JD Griffey. You can follow him uh, on Instagram. That's JD, this one right here. JD Griffey. Um, let them know your Twitter. Twitter. He's going to get JD. better at Twitter. I suck at we Twitter. We said that off camera. He's got to get better at Twitter. I suck at Twitter. But, but he's going to get better. Uh, JD Griffey. Uh, JD Griffey. All my social media is JD Griffey. So, yeah, just follow me. Um... I'm gonna have me. My meme game is fire. Yeah, it's, right. it's it's my meme game is fire. I, we're, uh, not gonna, we're not gonna say the original ideas of what we thought about your Instagram page. Uh, so yeah, uh, follow me on Instagram. More content coming soon. 2019 is gonna be a good year for your boy and the team. Oh boy, so, and the team, team, the team, team making money. You know, we, so we, we come. Uh, it's it's gonna be good stuff. So yeah, follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter. At JD Griffey, uh, Facebook. I'm just you know Jerome Bain. So cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And uh, if you guys like more content like this, please like, share, and subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter at uh, Bros Perspective, and uh, you can also follow me, Kenny Steele, on Twitter at Ken Dog DMFT. The subscribe button will be somewhere. Exactly, somewhere this, down there. Area. You know what I'm saying? It you know, leave comments I in the section. I watched the video on YouTube. Show and said to like just, the links of the little link around there, like with the little bell. Do do the bell it's, thing. It's over there here. Over over, over, here. over there, the kind of thing. This is over, yeah, or over there. Over here. Either or, I don't know yeah. what you're doing. Like, like, share, and subscribe, people. Appreciate it. And uh, next time, time, we'll see you soon. Peace. Pull up skirts, something in a brand new drop. Trick one now. Just got paid, but I'm blow a couple racks off top. Trick one now. Walked in with the juice, went through the bright, not stop. Trick one now.